What up, fellas? This is Ken. So, in this weekend's video, we are going to do a few things to the truck. Uh, I made a, I do believe I made a short or a video like several weeks ago saying that I want to find ways to cool this truck. One of the ways is to take the headers off and wrap them. That would cut down on a whole lot of heat. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to do that. Let's see, what else was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to look into uh, finding a piece of steel to put on the back of the frame because I no longer have a bumper. I have a roll pan back there. Uh, also, I threw a belt. I threw my alternator belt. Uh, a couple weekends ago and we're gonna get that installed back on there and uh, I think that's about all I'm gonna be doing this week um, I actually took last weekend off from doing anything because I screwed my back up my lower back I heard it pretty pretty good helping my neighbor uh, move a dress a dresser out of her house that dresser that's right there she, uh, her husband was gone, so I, she asked me to go up in there and grab it, and of course, you know, I can't say no to anybody, and I went to pick it up, and as soon as I got out the door, out the door with it, I went to, like, lift my, my whole body up, and I can feel something really bad going on down in my lower back, and, uh, I must have pulled a muscle or something really bad, because... It took almost a week for that to heal up, and now I'm feeling a little bit better. And uh, so last week I didn't really do anything in this thing. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to sell my old bumper. I don't know if anybody would want to buy it. Say, I, I did mangle it up a little bit. The corners, I cut the corners for the exhaust. That's pretty dumb. I don't know why I did that. And also the brackets to it. Just run into there. I have no use for it anymore. Uh, my Facebook Marketplace, for whatever reason, was all messed up. It, it said I had I had no longer access to it, and I guess a lot of people were having the same problem. I have no idea. I've been using it like crazy, and uh, so I actually just deleted my Facebook account and remade a new one. I never really use my Facebook account anyway, so. Uh, but yeah, I had that problem. But yeah, that's what we'll be doing in this video. Just kind of tinkering around with some minor stuff. Uh, I did buy, get some lower control arms in the mail. These are the CCP, CPP ones. I'm not going to mess with those. I'm just, I just bought them because I'm waiting to get the... I'm going to order the upper one, upper control arms from CPP as well as the whole uh, three, five lowering kit for this thing. Uh, I want to get, want to get that. I want to get this thing lower down more. I want no gap in the tire and the fender there. And then I got a whole things. I'm gonna, a bunch of things I'm going to order in the next couple months for this thing. I'm really focused on getting the whole new mid mount kit eventually also want to get the hyper spark kit i'm looking into that i need to slap insurance back on this thing i let it run out run out so i haven't been able to drive it there's no insurance uh, uh haggerty buy insurance by the year my year was up in september so i'm gonna get a new slap new policy on it probably in the next month or two so this thing is going to be somewhat immobile for a while because yeah, there's just no point and I have no point in driving it when you have things you want to do to it and well yeah, if there's a point I can still drive it and enjoy it but I've been lazy but yeah but yeah that's what I'm gonna do in this video we're just gonna try to make so definitely before you uh start tearing away at removing the headers you know before you 
loosen up all your bolts here to remove them, definitely remove your spark plugs. Um, this happening one, this didn't happen now, but a long time ago, uh, I wasn't even thinking. I undid all the bolts with the spark plugs inside there, and it just sheared the spark plug in half. <laughs> so I would highly suggest not uh, undoing your headers until your spark plugs are completely gone or moved. Otherwise, your headers will just drop down and it'll just shear the, the porcelain part right in half. Just a uh, warning, you guys. <laughs> All right, so took my daughter to uh, Napa. Actually, she drove since she's got a driver's permit. I've been making her drive everywhere. Um, well, first thing, we, we went to O'Reilly's. They didn't have the belt I needed, though. They didn't have the same belt model number. Uh, so I went over to Napa's, and they got, they got me hooked up. Something works perfect. It's the right size and everything. Of course, at O'Reilly's, you know, it's what they had, it's their job, it's what they have to do, but they, they're asking me what my truck, my truck year, make and model, what engine, and the guy is like, well, sorry, sir, but that truck doesn't come with a 454 big block. I'm like, I know, it does now. And he's just confused. <laughs> I tell, explain to him that's a custom truck, and I gave him the model number of the old belt, and he said he didn't have any of those in stock, so we went to Napa. Of course, they have everything. I absolutely love Napa. It's my favorite auto parts store. And uh, they got they got me this. I'm going to make sure I keep this this time, just in case I throw another belt, which I probably will. Hopefully not until I get my serpentine drive. I was thinking about starting this up, but I remembered I started taking my spark plugs out. So we're going to get that going. These are my spark plugs after... About a year and a half of use driving the truck around. Uh, it's really not that bad. You can tell which one uh, that it was. Uh, you can tell which cylinder was the one with the no compression for a while, which is this one. See, there's not much, not that much oil corrosion or buildup. But uh, it doesn't, they don't look too bad. They look pretty clean. Not all. They're not really that all that nasty. So, all right. So I got the spark plugs out, disconnected. I'm gonna go ahead and undo all the bolts now, and then I'm gonna jack the truck up, undo the O2 sensor, and. Uh, the three bolts to the rest of the exhaust and it should come right out. Got the old header off. Thing is seeing a lot of a lot of a lot of crap here. Gasket's not very good. I wonder if I should get a new gasket there. Of course I had to beat some spots for it before to fit this thing. I'm gonna throw a bunch of wrap on that real quick. Yeah. I'm gonna to try to tidy up some more of these wires, like th these two wires going to the starter, the main wire and the other, the, the thinner wire. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my black, like wire guard stuff, and we're gonna go ahead and put this around it and kind of make it look make it look somewhat nice. Also, I have the st uh, the starters accessible, so I can go ahead and put this the starter heat guard around the starter since it's just right there this can just sit in there and it'll be just fine this way it'll protect uh, this will protect the, the starter from all the heat that this engine generates plus uh, after wrapping the header it should be just fine I bought a whole bunch of these they're supposed to be metal cable ties so that this way it doesn't melt so we're gonna get that all on here real quick uh, all right so we went ahead and put the uh, starter how or the heat wrap for the starter on there used a couple uh, stainless steel zip ties that I bought uh, words of wisdom don't 
Don't put the aluminum side opposite of what it is now, otherwise uh, you will short stuff out. <laughs> like me, I actually had the battery attached and I did that and I had spark, spark, spark everywhere. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm ready to go ahead and start wrapping the old uh, header. I'm going to go ahead and I won't be able to do like each one individually, obviously, because they're so close together. But like I can get some individual here, here, then I'll double wrap it up here. I can wrap in these individually down to here and then maybe some over here. I'll just have to, you know, do a little bit at a time here. Uh, got that all, the, the uh, starter all wrapped up, ready to go. And uh, go ahead and get this thing wrapped up and hopefully stop some of the heat. Decided to move my small TV back in here so I can watch some house while I'm doing it because it does get boring. Same music over and over again. All right, we got this all, not all wrapped up, but mostly wrapped up. You know, I probably could put a little bit more right there and there. I don't, I'm not sure if I should go that far, but hell, I used like almost, I used the whole one roll and partially some of this roll. I might have to, I'm definitely going to have to get two more rolls from, for the other, the other, the other headers. I might as well just. Might as well just keep using that one since I'm going to order more. I'm going to have to order more to do the side. Just to get all that, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that real quick. Alright, so. Managed to get this other header back in. Got it wrapped up. Mm. Uh. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah, I got it wrapped up i'm about, about to tighten up the rest of the bolts into the the head i got the bolts down down there all tightened up i got the thing installed the o2 sensor and then i can go ahead and uh reinstall the spark plugs and continue on to the other side we have the driver's side header out now the paint that i did put on it didn't really last very long that's for sure which it doesn't really matter now because i'm gonna put wrap it up and you won't be able to see anything but this side's much easier uh because there's not much wiring in the way uh there's no i'm not hooking up the o2 sensor on this side i did make sure i took all the spark plugs out Somebody's car alarm's going off outside. So this is the rest. This is all I have left of the tape. I went ahead and ordered a roll of 50 foot. So hopefully uh, that right there and the roll I've ordered will be plenty. I really hope because I don't want to wait more time. So you see I did have to mangle this a little bit. I could not find, when I remember when I get in these headers, I could not find ones that would fit at all. Uh, and I, I've heard many other people struggle to find headers that would fit this thing. Long tube headers, I should say. Perhaps when I go to do my, go to do my, redo my exhaust, maybe I'll just get rid of these and just switch over to shorties. And, you know, I ain't going to do that. I'll probably just keep these. These were a pain in the butt. I don't want to re relive that all over again. Yeah. But these ones are definitely going to be, should be easy. The problem is, is trying to wrap each one of these tubes individually. There ain't much gap in here for maybe just one, one hole or one uh, thing to wrap here. Or one layer, I should say. Uh, well... Basically just right here, so it shouldn't be too bad. You don't really see it all that much anyway. See, you look at the engine, you know, you really don't see it, so it's, it's, it's like, who cares? 
I think anyway. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, wait until the rest of the wrap comes in the mail. And once that comes in the mail, then we'll fire it up and we'll measure the temperatures and all that stuff and see how it ro see how it goes. We managed to uh, get all the wrap or the other header on with the wrap on it. This side was a real pain in the pain in the rear end because uh, the frame, you know, it's up against the engine. And it's just really tough to get that in there. Plus, you know, I mangled the wrap a little bit trying to get it up in there. I'm not going to touch this stuff anymore because even though I was wearing gloves, somehow I think some of the fiberglass strands got inside the gloves. And my, my actual hand, like in between my fingers, has been was last night before I went to bed. It was so itchy and driving me nuts. A little bit right there, must have touched. Uh, you know, fair warning, that stuff is nasty. You don't want to breathe it in. You don't want to, like, get it on you. And it's horrible. So, yeah, we got the uh, headers on. Um, I, did, did, I did it all. I finished up last night. And I actually, I reinstalled all the spark plugs. Uh, reattached the wires. Went to start it up, and something's wrong. Uh, it just sounds horrible. The engine, whole engine sounds choppy. Really, It sounds really bad. Uh, either the plugs, something's wrong with the plugs, or the wires. I don't know. I think uh, here pretty soon, probably this weekend, I'm going to go ahead and take out the spark plugs and, see, and, and inspect them. I might actually just go ahead and replace them because they are pretty, they're probably two years old now or a year and a half at least. Uh, I'm actually considering replacing the wires as well. I know these are MSD wires, but I, I put them together myself. So I'm not sure if that's the problem. If it is the problem, then I'm going to replace them. Uh, but there's something wrong. I, you go to fire it up and it just sounds like it's completely out of time or something. And only thing I did was take out the spark plugs and the headers. It's all I've done. So I don't know why it would do that. I don't know. But yeah, uh, I just wanted to make a quick video this, this week showing you guys my current progress. Just uh, trying to keep the engine bay cool. You know, I gotta sweep in here. I gotta be careful. I'm walking around bare in my socks, and there's this fiberglass shit everywhere. And I don't want to get it in my house. This stuff is horrible. So, I did get the new belt on the alternator. So, whenever I des decide to figure out what, why the engine is not firing correctly, uh, this, this way I can go ahead and. Get it running good again. But that's my video, guys. I just wanted to throw a quick video out there. I haven't made a, vi a video in a couple weeks. Honestly, there's not much to do. Uh, the truck's been kind of just sitting around, not doing much. I've been working a lot and uh, doing stuff in the house. I've been in my basement, gut in my basement, and uh, buying a new washer and dryer. So my focus has been elsewhere. But uh, here pretty soon, hopefully. We will uh, get some more stuff and we'll uh, keep going. All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Rate me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.